I mean, I know you were thinking about freezing your eggs, but when did you decide to actually do it? I had my first consultation yesterday. Get out! Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want my forced sobriety to cast a shadow on your divorce day. And I can't have any fries or cake or alcohol or fun because my next egg might be my best egg. <laughs> oh, Nell, scientifically your best egg would have been years ago. Oh, forget divorce day. No, this is your day. Uh, Nell is right. This is the one day you get to phoenix yourself from the ashes and get so turned that you consider getting Ben Affleck's midlife crisis back at you. Don't do that. I have the Olympic rings right next to my hoo-ha. I picked the right year to die. I want to support you on your journey, too, and your journey does not involve fries and alcohol. Come on, do you know how many nights you held my hair back? Now it's my turn to hold back yours. I mean, normally, you're the one that's keeping it all together. But now, I get to be Sam. What a great idea. You will have to wash your clothes, though. OK, if you're going to be the responsible one, I guess that makes me now. I'm in. Hell yeah! <laughs> OK, so if you were me, what would you do next? OK, I'm Nell. I've just gone through a terrible breakup. That means I am going to McNicky's. I am doing shots. I'm eating potato skins and making out with four different men named Jake. That is <laughs> what I would do. OK, <laughs> ladies, this is where I get off the train. Nell, that leaves you in charge. Mm. And I don't want to see these ladies come home barefoot by the end of the night. No, but that's what happens at McNicky's. Nell. But not tonight. I'm on it. Jake's! Jake's! <laughs> Jake's! Jake's! <laughs>